good morning y'all welcome back to the vlog this vlog is going to contain so much stuff i mean i have a little bit of everything in here so if you like watching like the hair videos or the creative videos it's gonna be a little bit of everything in here so just stick around it's gonna come up but um i just wanted to introduce the video i am working on my centerpieces for one of my clients she trusted me to do this i'm like so nervous like why why would you want me i'm getting ready to spray the buckets and i will show y'all that and everything else and because i'm holding the camera i'm looking at the viewfinder gosh it takes so much practice i really need to find somewhere for y'all to sit but basically i am doing like the teddy bear centerpieces with the parachutes and stuff so i'm gonna show y'all exactly you know um i saw this on pinterest and i felt like i could create it so yeah i'm gonna show you guys and yeah i'll talk to y'all in a minute my camera because lord if i don't it's gonna fall but i think i did good it's been a while since i ran about to run to hobby lobby and get my errands out the way before i go home and then head to the salon but basically they would look like this color and I'm just gonna show y'all a little bit of my inspiration I'm not gonna do too much talking but please excuse my hair because it's, it's been a rough week 
So I got this lace to match the theme of the baby shower for the centerpieces, the teddy bear centerpieces. It's pink and brown. Um, the buckets that I got are from Target, but I will use the link in the description to link what I got or, you know, some alternative. I got some pink ribbon in order to add to the buckets. And these are just sticks that are going to hold on to the balloons to kind of create that parachute type of look for the teddy bears. I will put the size also if I can find them on Amazon. So it could be easier for you guys to um, see what size I got. This is the jute that I purchased in Hobby Lobby earlier. This jute was not really what I was looking for. And y'all, please excuse my ashy hands, okay? They are horrible. But um, this jute was kind of tough. Um, so I would suggest maybe using the jute that I have linked in the description bar because I used this for another project and it was way softer and it made the actual sticks that were holding on to the balloons more like it was lighter so I felt like it was more sturdier if that makes sense I'm literally struggling to figure out where it begins that's crazy and it's it's tied off for you but I still didn't see that but is it jut or jute I have no clue which one it is but I keep saying jute I hope that that is actually how you say it but I'm just cutting off the very hard pieces that I was telling y'all about because it was hard for it to bend. So I just use hot glue just to attach the jute to the sticks that I'm using and I kind of marked it off with a purple marker to see where I wanted to start it because these sticks are really long and I didn't want it to be I didn't want the center pieces to be super um tall i wanted them to stand out at the baby shower but i didn't want them to be too tall to where that they um were easy to knock over and to tilt over so i'm just starting with some glue and holding it just to so that it makes it stick you this is really optional but i thought this made the baby shower centerpieces so cute this like took them to the next level by covering the sticks with the jute it made it look super natural and I like the way it came out so I marked the end too just to see where I wanted to end because we're not going to do it all the way to the end because we want to actually attach the stick to the bucket so you're just gonna keep doing that and don't leave any spaces make it super neat all you need is a dab of glue and this is how it came out so cute um, you're gonna do this for two sticks for each bucket I I did maybe about 10 center pieces so um this is just the last one that I'm doing and I wanted to show you guys what I did so this is how it came out they are so cute they, what like look at that look they look like I bought it so I'm using this and this is actually the wrong type of what is the name of this I forgot styrofoam this is the one that people use for real flowers, but I really like this one, although it was such a mess, girl. Oh, it was such a mess. Um, this, rude. This um, styrofoam floral block was super durable, so I was able to bend it and cut it super easy because they use this for, you, I guess you're supposed to put this in water. Child, I don't know. Like, I, this is my first time ever doing anything like this. I just want to show y'all, you know, that it, it came out cute. You know, because if it didn't, I wouldn't be recording. It would have never made it to YouTube. But it came out cute, so I'm showing y'all. So, the, the block was super cute. But you got to be careful with how you cut it. Because these buckets will kind of expand and they will break if you're not careful. So I cut them in half because I'm going to sit my teddy bear on top of it. And he needs a little space in his, you know, for his legs. He needs some space in there. So I cut it in half just so I could be able to attach my sticks to it. But I don't want it to be too tall. And um, yeah, you don't got to do it like this. I just use the styrofoam because I thought it would be easier to attach the sticks to the bucket and make a sturdier um centerpiece if that makes sense so now i'm taking the lace that i previously showed you guys and i'm alternating the colors because the colors are pink and brown 
and I'm just kind of alternating alternating the colors to get a variation in the lace so that it looks different I don't know you don't got to do it like this but this is what was in my head and I thought <laughs> I thought it came out cute I used about nine pieces per box just so you can see the colors and everything which you can't really tell but it's okay um you can use any colors that you would like or whatever fits your baby shower theme or you know whatever you're making your centerpieces for um because you can use this centerpiece for like a birthday party it doesn't have to be for a baby shower but i'm just doing this for a baby shower so um yeah so i'm ending with the pink lace and i'm just going to oh my hands look a mess i'm sorry y'all um, I'm just gonna stick it in the bucket and what I didn't show you guys is that I did attach some pins I put pins in the bucket to attach the lace to the styrofoam that we put in there um, So it wouldn't move around too much. Oh, I did show you guys So yeah, these are the pins that I'm using to attach the lace to the styrofoam so I used about three or four pins just to secure the lace in place Yeah, this is how it came out and um, I'm just kind of seeing how it came out and you can just go behind it and cut off all the pieces that are sticking up or if they're too long I tried to make the lace the same size when I was um, cutting the squares but if some of them are too long it's okay you can just go through and cut them to make them even with the other parts of the lace So I'm using a pink ribbon and I literally just saw a tutorial on YouTube and I just followed her ribbon making tutorial and this is what I got. Don't judge me. This is my first time ever doing a ribbon by hand or by anything. Um, this is just the first time I've ever made a ribbon. So I thought they came out cute though. But you can do this. I will link the video that I watched um, so you guys can kind of learn if you're interested. This is off subject, but I just read that Tom Brady and Giselle are getting a divorce. And I don't know why that's so sad to me. I don't know their relationship or I don't follow them or anything. But I heard that they were married for 13 years. And it's just really sad when somebody... You know as big as them decides to get a divorce you never know what people are going through but prayers up to them and that's just really sad i know they have like two or three kids and this is how they came out and it's very small and they're borderline ugly but we're gonna we're gonna fix that i actually went over the ribbon I mean the bows I went over it with a iron just to make them flat and look a little bit professional and I just cut the ribbon at an angle just to give the bow a you know a more professional type of look even though I'm not a professional this is my first time doing this and I just burned the ends to seal it so it doesn't it looks nice and neat I'm going to do another bow the same way that I just did the previous one This one seemed to come out a little bit better than the first one, but I'm just measuring them so that they are actually the same size and that I cut the slants in the right way, which it looks like I did not cut them correctly, but 
that's okay it still came out cute and you're gonna do the same thing with the ends with just burning the ends so that they don't so that they look super neat and professional so I'm just adding hot glue to the sticks that we made with the jute or jut I think it's jute and I'm just you be very careful because these sticks will puncture the bucket if you press too hard and then you just hold on to it for a little while until you feel like the glue has completely dried and you want to make sure that you attach the jute to the bucket the stick is not going to hold but you're going to stick the stick inside of the styrofoam that I showed you guys earlier and that's what makes it super secure Same thing on the other side, you're going to attach it, but put glue all the way down. Ooh. Put glue all the way down on the stick just in case it decides to touch something. You know, it will still be secure because we are going to push the sticks all the way down inside the styrofoam. And then just attach it to the bucket and just hold it for a little while. Make sure they are even so it doesn't look off and just hold it so that it's fully dry. So this is how it looks so far. And so far it looks good. My sticks are attached. I have my lace in place for my teddy bear to sit on. And it's a little uneven, but you won't be able to tell once you put the teddy bears inside of it. So I got these bears from Amazon. And I'll be sure to link it so you guys can know the size. Um, but these teddy bears, they they did they ended up looking a little cute but this one was a little off like as you can see his smile mm, he looked a little off to me his smile a little slanted his foot is you know they just threw him together poor baby i feel sorry for him we're gonna keep him at home and we're gonna use the ones that look a little bit more normal for the centerpieces So you just stick the teddy bear inside. Make sure he has enough space. I kind of struggled with this in order to, because the buckets are very small and I did want the teddy bear to stand out. So I didn't want a really small teddy bear, but if you want to, you know, you could just like um, get a smaller teddy bear, but I wanted him to look like a little fatty trying to squeeze inside of the parachute. Um, so yeah, I'm just pulling the lace up around him so that he sits comfortably. And I did pin his hands up so it looks like he was holding on to the parachute. Y'all, isn't that so cute? I love it so much. He came out so cute. So I'm just attaching the bows that we did just a few minutes ago to the sides of the parachutes. I don't know, this just added a another element to the parachute bucket. I thought it was cute.
so now we're going to take the longer balloons that you see you know the clowns use to make different shapes and stuff take those attach three of them together and then attach them to the base of the beige balloon and you're going to do this to create like a full circle i started off with three y'all this part i wanted to fight that balloon so bad like i wanted to actually box it was so difficult to get the the balloons to sit still so i had this was like trial and error so i ended up tying you can see the knots too i used about three of them going across to attach at the base of the balloon as you can see i'm cutting here that's where you're going to attach the balloons okay you see that that big knot yes you're going to attach it at the base and you're going to use maybe like depending on how big your balloon is so i use three of them and then i attach them to the base of the balloon and so to keep them sturdy i used some of the balloon string and just tied it in a knot at the top of the balloon and i think i did the bottom too just so that it wouldn't be rolling around y'all yeah, this part was very ugh, it's not easy it's not easy that's why i showed y'all this part because this kind of helps with it staying sturdy now the balloons are still going to move around and stuff oh my hands look so bad oh i need some vaseline i'm sorry i'm so sorry y'all the weather is changing and i just got out the shower and i didn't put any vaseline on my hands but anyways make sure you tie that knot a couple of times so that it doesn't move and it doesn't go anywhere okay so we're going to do the same thing on the base of the balloon as well I'm starting with some five inch balloons that I got from Amazon and I'll link that as well. I bought a, it came in a set. Um, so I just attached the five inch balloons. I got some rose gold balloons too. So I just attached them together. So you're going to attach a few of these together. Just go ahead and start off with like 15 of them to attach to each section of the long balloons that we attach to that beige balloon i hope this is making sense and you're just going to slide the two balloons that we put together you're going to slide them onto the longer balloons and i just alternated the colors just to get a variation of the colors on the balloons but it really doesn't matter because they are going to kind of mix up and switch around anyway. Um, just make sure that you're using an even amount of colors. So I'm just using the brown color balloons and the pink color balloons as the base. And then I'm going to add some of the rose gold balloons for accents. And don't worry if you see a bunch of spaces on the balloons because we're going to go in and you see how it's coming apart? Oh my gosh, so frustrating. But keep going. I ended up sitting on the floor and that made it a little bit easier. I don't know. Like, I don't know an easier way to kind of do this if you do please leave a comment below because this was very trying okay just holding the balloons the longer balloons in place just to kind of secure it kind of helped me a little bit so yeah i would suggest y'all do that because they are going to move around regardless and i even tried to tape them to the balloon no you couldn't no so this is how I got them to stay. I just used my legs to hold them. And once you get two of them on, most likely it's going to stay a little bit more stable for you. But they're moving around anyway. 
and you just need to readjust them and with the knots that we created it's a little bit easier to readjust them and you know but once you get like one or two on then they'll stay in place so I did this just to create a even looking balloon like air balloon for the teddy bear centerpieces I wanted it to look like a circle and not too much like just thrown together so this is how it looks it looks you know kind of full but as you can see there are spaces and like I said we're just gonna go in and add the rose gold balloons just to fill in the spaces that you see So this is the teddy bear when it's all completely dry. So I used some of the balloon string to attach the parachute, why I keep saying parachute, the air balloon that we are creating to the sticks that we created with the jute so it could be secure. And it's very easy. You just tie the um, balloon to the sticks This is what they end up looking like, and you just place the balloons on top. Now, I've seen some people just place the balloons on top, but I'm clumsy, and I did not want to accidentally knock the air balloon off of the balloon. So, I just attached it with the balloon string and just wrapped it around one of the smaller balloons and kind of created a knot and cut the ends. I blew up a few singles really small and just added some glue dots just to fill in the spaces i feel like you could be creative here you could add however much you want um i'm just filling in all the spaces that i see and be careful with the glue dots because once you put the glue dots on there it's hard to like take them off without you know messing up the balloon or popping the balloon so maybe kind of like Put them on there just to see how you want them to be and then go back and put a few glue dots to attach the balloons and in the empty spaces and stuff like that. 